On behalf of Missoula County, I would like to thank you for joining us this morning to commemorate the opening of the Black Ridge in Milltown. I'm Jean Curtis, Chair of the Missoula County Commission, and with me this morning are your other two commissioners, Commissioner Larry Anderson and, and Bill Carey. Isn't this a fabulous bridge? <laughs> yeah. And thanks to all of you who prayed for lovely weather because we couldn't ask for better. We have a lot of people who helped this, the reconstruction of this bridge a reality. Before I recognize the many contributors, I'd like to remind us of its history. The Steel Trust Bridge was built across the Blackfoot River in Milltown in 1921 and served as the state highway bridge until 1977 when the new highway bridge was built, which of course has now been replaced. It was maintained as a pedestrian bridge from that time. The contractor in 1921 was a company called Security Bridge, and the main man on the job was W.P. Roscoe, the company who did the rebuild on the work on this bridge for Frontier was Roscoe Bridge, a unit of Roscoe Steel and Culvert, a Billings-based company owned by Jim Roscoe, the grandson of the original builder. The Steel Trust Bridge is not what you would build today. There are cheaper and easier methods, but it holds a powerful place in our industrial history and in the aesthetic memories of local residents. Rather than simply replacing the old bridge or even scrapping it all together, the community pushed to have it rebuilt the old way. The new old black bridge is now bolted together rather than riveted and it's now in place and we are certain that WT WP Roscoe would certainly be proud of his grandson. And after we have the ribbon cutting across the bridge we saved a bucket of rivets that are sitting back here in a bucket so you're welcome to take one. When the old Milltown Dam, pro when the Milltown Dam project began, all the bridges in the area were studied in depth to see what the impact of dam removal would have on them. With the drawdown of the reservoir, the bridge piers and abutments would be stressed by the increased velocity of the river. Initially, the engineers believed that with minor repairs, this bridge could remain in place. But in 2005, it became clear that the old back black bridge would need significant repairs or to be removed or replaced before the removal of the Milltown Dam. And the county investigated all the alternatives. I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> the Milltown Redevelopment Working Group supported keeping a separate pedestrian bridge, even though we knew the new Highway 200 bridge would have pedestrian lanes. Members of the Milltown Redevelopment Working Group, would you please wave, since we can't. Thank you for all of your work. So we, the county proposed to replace the new bridge with a new contemporary, or this bridge with a new contemporary design bridge that would not need any pier support in the river, as that was one of the goals of the river restoration, to remove those piers, both for fish and for the public safety of those recreating in the river after the project was complete. Well, that idea went over like a lead balloon. Thanks to the local community members, they organized a Save Our Bridge Committee and initiated a petition drive to save this historic Steel Trust Bridge. Paul Layton led this group and even hung a big sign on the bridge, and it's right behind us. So would the members of the Save Our Bridge Committee please wave? <laughs> All right. Thank you for insisting that we save this piece of history. The newly formed Bonner Community Council also voiced strong support for preserving the old bridge. Could the members of the Community Council please wave and show us where you're at? All right. Thank you for your continued work for your community. County engineer team, Tim Elsie listened to the concerns of the public and came up with a clever solution that met all the goals of the project. He proposed extending one of the two trusses with parts from the second truss to make the bridge long enough to span the river without a pier. The plan received nearly unanimous support from the local community, from the Save Our Bridge Committee, from the Milltown Redevelopment Working Group, 
the Park Fork Coalition, the Bonner Development Group, the Friends of Two Rivers, and the Bonner School. The plan would cost more money, but with this compromise in hand, the county sent, set out to find the money to do the job. To preserve the history and aesthetics of this beautiful old bridge and meet the goals of the project and the future of the area. Tim Elsie, we'd like you to say a couple words. Thanks very much. This is a once in a career thing for an engineer and to be able to work with the community was, it was so gratifying to me and I want to thank Paul Layton and, and the Safe Art Bridge Committee. Thank you so much for this. This is a beautiful, beautiful bridge. Thank you. Senator Max Bach has provided the first funding for the project through a $2. million appropriation in the 2005 Federal Transportation Bill. A portion of these funds were used on this bridge, while the remainder is going toward the pedestrian loop trail. There was also some that was going to the Anaconda Deer Lodge uh, community. So at this time, I'd like to introduce our Senator, Max Bacchus. Thank you, Jane, very, very much. This is a great day. Everybody loves a bridge. <laughs> whether it's a throwing a log across a river or a creek, or whether it's a trying to build a little bridge, a little kid, or you know this bridge here, driving across Golden Gate Bridge or anything, everybody loves a bridge. Bridges, bridges are just special, and uh, this bridge is especially special. It's, um, bridges not only cross streams and rivers, but bridges are a mark of progress. They're symbolic of people working together. It's um, one side working with the other. That is a lot of power in a bridge. And this bridge here um, is linking different parts of this um, cleanup project here, the Clark Fork cleanup project. Uh, so that makes the restoration of this bridge uh, even more special. Um, I have a unique um, memory of this bridge, and I'm so glad this project is proceeding because not too many years ago and I was in the then called the Missoula Bank Run, the 10K, some of you probably ran in it years ago. We started here at Bonner and I remember going across this bridge for several years. And uh, one time going across this bridge, lo and behold, one of the fellows I was running with fell down because it's like a funnel effect, you know, across the bridge here. And he was flat in the stomach and the body I could see a great big black footprint. On the, on the back of his t-shirt. <laughs> and so a bunch of us grabbed a hold of the guy by the armpits and picked him up and off we went. All of us had no idea how he finished or where he finished. But <laughs> we're just very happy. Well, that was teamwork working together. The, uh, it's also, I think, kind of interesting that uh, in ancient Rome, uh, a high priest was called the chief um, bridge maker, um, or in Latin, uh, Pontifex Maximus. And um, it's also, I think, uh, fitting that here we have a new Pontifex uh, Maximus, and that's Tim Elsie. Yeah. And Tim, Tim's the guy that figured out how to do this. Tim's the guy that came up with design, and so uh, I want to your new name, uh, Tim. <laughs> Pontifex <laughs> Maximus. <laughs> I'll just finish by saying thanks to so many people. Uh, Governor Schweitzer kicked in a big chunk of money, as did the EPA, and John Wardell is here, Mike McGrath helped a lot. It's all teamwork. I believe strongly that nothing of consequence is ever accomplished unless people work together. It takes teamwork. And here we are in Missoula County working together. I'm so pleased, so proud to have this bridge restored because um, I have lots of fond memories crossing this bridge. <laughs> thanks everybody very much. Thank you. So speaking of teams, we have a team in D.C., and the next person on that team is Senator John Tester. Thank you, Gene. You know, I, I kind of came late to this dance. I was in the state legislature when, when, when a lot of the, the planning was going on to this, and we had our impacts there. But I will tell you, as a, as a U.S. Senator, I get to do a lot of fun things. There's nothing more fun than than uh, uh, infrastructure improvement projects. And, and the folks I want to recognize first is those outstanding eighth graders in the very back. Yeah. Yeah. The outstanding eighth graders and their peers will be able to use this for, uh, for literally their entire lifetimes and hopefully their kids and kids as kids beyond that. 
And I also want to thank uh, Senator Max Baucus for being able to step up the plate and get some highway dollars for this. Governor Schweitzer for being able to step up the plate and get some state dollars for it. Mike McGrath to the NRD and, and the EPA. John, thank you very much, all you guys. But most importantly, I want to thank the community of Bonner. And, and Gene read through the list of folks that, that had their, their fingerprints on this project locally. And I think that it is absolutely incredible how this community has stepped up to the plate to be able to make this bridge a, a workable uh, a workable unit once again. And I want to uh, uh, thank you folks. You need to give yourselves a hand, the town of Bonner. Thank you very much. And it's truly a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And the third member of our team in D.C. is uh, Congressman Rebert. He's not able to be here today, but Jessica Flint from his office has some words for him. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Unfortunately, Congressman Reber couldn't be here today, uh, but I am thrilled to be here on his behalf. He asked me to read a message to all of you uh, on his behalf. Dear friends, it is a privilege to send greetings as you gather today for the ribbon cutting and dedication of the new pedestrian bridge in Bonner, better known as the Black Bridge. I would like to thank all of those in attendance today, including Senators Bacchus and Tester, Governor Schweitzer, Attorney General Michael McGrath, and EPA Montana Director John Wardell and the Missoula County Commissioners. The Black Bridge was originally built in 1921. Three years ago, the Missoula County Commissioners learned that this old bridge would need to be removed, repaired, or replaced before the removal of the Milltown Dam. Thanks to the hard work and the dedication of the Save Our Bridge Committee, it was decided that this historic bridge would be repaired and become a pedestrian connection for local residents and visitors to the restored Blackfoot and Clark Fork River. When money becomes an issue with projects of this magnitude, it is necessary, but also heartwarming, to see so many partners come to the table and make what seems impossible a reality. If it wasn't for partners from the federal government, the state of Montana, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and the Missoula County, you would not be standing upon this bridge today. Members of the Save Our Bridge Committee, Rede Redevelopment Working Group, the Piltsville Walkers, and the eighth grade students from the Bonner School, please enjoy your commemorative first crossing of the Black Bridge. This is a day you will always remember. Sincerely, Denny. So it also took a team to uh, fund this bridge. So the next piece of funding came from the state's Upper Clark Fork River Natural Resource Restoration Grant Program. You have to read all those words. <laughs> we applied for and were granted $975,652 through this program. This program is part of the Montana Department of Justice under the leadership of Attorney General Mike McGrath. Would the members of the Natural Resource Damage Committee please wave? There's several here, I know. It really is a pleasure to be here and be part of this. As everyone has said, this really has been a team effort. And what it is, is it's a commitment to this community. This community uh, has been through a lot and will continue to go through a lot. Uh, this is a massive construction project. It is a uh, project that has the potential to alter the way of life of this community and people have been concerned about it uh, but at the same time enthused and cooperative. Uh, it really has been uh, a community endeavor maybe for 20 years uh, and I think culminates with the, the commitment to uh, rebuild and uh, open this bridge. Uh, this is, is a symbol of course of the community coming together but it also is a commitment, as I said, to this community to allow children to safely go back and forth uh, for generations to come. And thank you all. Thank you, everyone that's here uh, for your work on this. We very much appreciate it. Thank you. The third part of, part of the funding package is from the United States Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. So EPA matched that $975,652 grant, and um, Montana's director, John Wardell, recognized the impact the dam removal project would have on this local community and pledged to help maintain the bridge as a long-term asset for the community. 
Russ Forba and Diana Hammer have also been instrumental, as well as Keith Large from DEQ. But at this time, I'd like to introduce Montana EPA Director John Mordell. Thanks, Jean. Uh, on behalf of the federal government, uh, EPA in particular, it's a great pleasure for me to be here. As others have indicated, uh, I want to thank most importantly the citizens of Bonner, Milltown, the eighth graders of the school. Uh, I think it's a fabulous project they could enjoy for many, many years, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, John. So while Tim came up with the idea, the actual engineering design for the bridge to complete his idea was done by Brad Miller and his staff at HDR Engineering in Missoula. Is someone here from HDR? I know they are. They're way in the back. Thank you. You did a great job. The construction work was completed by Missoula contractor Frontier West, which also did the Highway 200 bridge right next to us. Is someone here from Frontier? Thank you. people that we'd like to recognize today that have been here for over two decades to see this project through along with Mr. Wardell. They're Peter Nielsen from the City County Health Department and Barbara Evans, retired yeah. commissioner. I know Barbara would like to say a few words and Peter may too. Barbara? Actually, according to the Independent, I was here when the Civil War was fought. <laughs> It has been a joy to work with you folks. It's a joy to see this bridge, and it's a wonderful day. And you can give yourself a pat on the back because without all of your efforts, it wouldn't have happened. And it proves an old adage, and the words aren't exactly right, but the message is, and that is, you can fight City Hall. <laughs> Mike Halligan can make them stop. <laughs> Another person we want to recognize today is Tim Fury, the state representative to who represents this area and also lives here. So Tim, thank you for your work in this community. In order to get the um, NRD grant, the governor of the state of Montana must approve that grant. And of course, we all know that the governor approved the funding for this bridge in December of 2006. It's my pleasure to introduce the governor of the state of Montana, Brian Schweitzer. It all starts with a vision, and the vision started here. Bonner, Milltown, Missoula, all the way to Butte. You've demonstrated for the entire country what we can do when we come together and build a restoration economy. This is a bridge to the future, and the restoration economy is a bridge to the future. There's going to be a lot of activity, like a bullseye, in this area, and this bridge is dead center. So we're great, great to be here for a dedication of not just a bridge, but an entire restoration economy. God bless you. This is a great Thank day. You. So at this time, we'd like to have the ribbon cutter cutters join us in the front. So that Barbara Evans is. We've asked her to cut the representing the county and the NRD. Mrs. Thibodeau, representing Save Our Bridge in the Milltown Redevelopment Group, and I think one of the walkers. She's got her stick here today. <laughs> Senator Bacchus, Mike McGrath, Tim Elsie, John Wardell, and the Governor. You guys, I have scissors for all of you. <laughs> Okay, so once the ribbon is cut, the school children will come to the front so everybody could kind of part the waters there a little and let the kids come forward. The Save Our Bridge Committee and the Piltsville Walkers will be the first to lead us across the bridge, followed by the Milltown Redevelopment Working Group, the Bonner Community Council, and I think there were some students from Sentinel. Did they get here? Come on. Come on. Yay. There you go. Okay. There you go. And so at this time, I'd like to dedicate this bridge to the youth of the community. We do not know what the future holds, but we do know who holds the future, our youth. So please cut the ribbon. One, three. One, three. 
Ready? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Cheap dog. 